folks and welcome to Suncodex. In today's video, I want to show you how to use UVR5, which to me is one of the most, if not the most powerful free software to remove vocals or extract instruments from a full song. And you know what? It doesn't stop there because it also has an auto mastering feature, a super powerful time stretching algorithm, as well as a pitch shifting feature. Once you're on the official website and you click download, this link will bring you to the official Git app repository. Simply click code and select download zip. Then you can extract the folder and run the installer. It might take some time because it is pretty heavy. Now talking about heavy things, this software is based on neural networks. So it will consume a lot of CPU and RAM. If your computer is not that powerful, processing audio files might take a really, really long time. Now let's take a quick look at the interface. Starting from the top, we can select the input file, the one that we want to process. You can simply drag and drop your audio file inside this rectangle, or you can search for it manually by clicking on this folder icon. Same process for the output where your processed audio file will be saved. Moving down, we can choose the process method. And if we move the cursor over the title here, it will give you a very brief description of every method. So we have VR architecture, MDX, DMAX, ensemble mode, and audio tools. This last one is not used to extract vocals or separate stems. This is a collection of extra tools that will be covered at the end of this video. Depending on the algorithm or AI model you choose, UVR5 will display different settings. In this example, window size and aggression setting. Always refer to the tooltip if you want to change these parameters. One thing that I forgot to say is that UVR5 can handle and output both WAV, FLAC and MP3 files. Moving on to the row below, we can choose a specific model, AI model. So once you've selected your um, process method, it might have different models. In this example, VR architecture has two of them, HP UVR that, as we can see from this panel, can be used to isolate instrumental and vocals. But if we switch to UVR denoise, this model was trained to identify noise sources and remove them. In case you want to download extra models, select download more models. This window will pop up and here you can select your process method like VR and you can download any of these for free. They are a lot and for this video I tested the built-in one only and it took me about four hours to properly test all of them. In case you have an NVIDIA GPU, make sure to check GPU conversion. This will perform all processing using your GPU and will save you a lot of time. On the other hand, all operations will be performed using the CPU. Once you're ready, simply start processing and wait. Now let's take a listen at some audio examples. The first thing I wanted to test it was vocal extraction. So this is the original song. What's up is down, what's left is right. The fly so high, I'm hypnotized. What's up is down, what's left is right. The fly so high, I'm hypnotized. What's up is down, what's left is right. The fly so high, I'm hypnotized. What's up is down, what's left is right. What's up is down, what's left is right. 
Fly so high, I'm hypnotized. What's up is down, what's left is right. Fly so high, I'm hypnotized. What's up is down, what's left is right. So to my ear, the best result is MDX or DMAX for this vocal extraction. So let's take a listen to the original once again. So high, then DMAX. So Very clean. Then MDX. So high, and MDX with different settings. So high, now let's try to jump back and forth between these three. To me, VR architecture is not good at all. So high, As you can hear, a lot of frequencies from the instrumental are passing through the spectral processing. Those first three are, wait, these three are the best ones. So, DMAX. So 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 Let's try to change position, maybe here, where I think there are a couple of people singing. On top of the world. D-Max here is a little bit noisy and I hear some crackles in the background. Now it's time to isolate the instrumental and the song I decided to use is this one. Yes, to be brought into this place. You wanna love me? Well then baby, I have a taste. All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same. I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain. If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay. Oh. MDX sounds brighter and more natural compared to VR. Let's move on. We have DMAX. Just a quick note, you might have noticed that here I used demaxed twice. The first one in all stems, so here I extracted the drums and the melodic elements, so here we can listen to the instrumental, but it's made of separate stems. And down here I used the demax modal, in ensemble method and the result is uh, pretty much the same we have the instrumental let me explain what i did so we can choose dmax as a process method in this way we can extract all stems or vocals other bass drums individually and this is one way to use dmax if you choose ensemble mode as a process method ensemble mode loads needs two models to extract your target instrument. If we choose as a main stem pair, vocal and instrumental, here we can choose the uh, model. So to make things easy, if you want to use the max model, 
to extract the entire instrumental instead of having each individual stem you can use ensemble mode and make sure to use the max here as under available models So what are the best settings to use with UVR5? To me MDX net is the winner and you can set it to 1024 as a segment size, an overlap factor of 0.75. This is a pretty solid uh, solution if you want to extract vocals or instrumental only. Talking about multi-stem extraction, well the Max sounds very very good. You can choose the all stems option or you can isolate specific instruments. The tooltip suggests to use a segment of five if you want to separate vocals and instrumental. You can uh, play with the settings pretty easily. Talking about multi-segment extraction, there is also ensemble mode, but it's very heavy since it uses more than one modal at the time. So I would not suggest you to use it unless you have a very powerful computer. One tip, do not use max spec, wait, a uh, vocal instrument. When you have a pair of stems, don't use max spec, max spec. In my example, all my 32 gigabytes of RAM were maxed out for more than one hour. So it's not worth it. If you found this video interesting, please leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what you think about UVR5, how you use it and what are your best settings. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Ciao ciao!